let's talk about the NFL Top 100 list. Now, before we came live, I <laughs> Matt Miller said anything, Gary, <laughs> with, with an eggplant emoji. Man, <laughs> it depends on the price. <laughs> Um, the NFL Top 100 list. Look, I, Chris and I discussed a little bit of this earlier. And I brought up the idea of, you know, should we really let the NFL's own media company, group, whatever, their own journalists, come up with a list of the Top 100 players? And he explained it to me as they've got their own guys and... Yes, they should 100% be allowed to do this. Patrick Mahomes is a little bit fired up about it because he was ranked number four on this list. Uh, Chris, I'll go ahead and read the the top ten that they've listed here. Uh, number ten is Derrick Henry. Number nine is Stephon Gilmore. Number eight is DeAndre Hopkins, <laughs> which, by the way, again, Jamal Adams was traded for two first-rounders. DeAndre Hopkins, Doug Johnson, and second-rounder. Just a little Texans hate there. Uh, George Kittle is number seven, Christian McCaffrey number six, Michael Thomas number five, Patrick Mahomes number four, Aaron Donald number three, Russell Wilson number two, and Lamar Jackson number one. These are the top 100 players of 2020 per NFL.com and the NFL Network. Um, Michael said this is just like the Madden ratings. Who gives a shit? Just shut up and play. I, I'm kind of of the, the same thing here, but I think it does give a little more juice to the guys that got rated lower than they than they feel like they should. The Madden ratings, that's just like a bunch of computer nerds, right? This is what the media that covers you every year thinks of you, which I think makes it sting a little harder. Th- does that make sense, Chris? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Tell me, tell me your thoughts on whether or not Patrick Mahomes should be irritated that he is the third quarterback on this list. No, please don't be soft, Patrick. I like everything about you. Please, please don't be this thin-skinned. I was I mean, a little surprised, honestly. Like I, we, I mean, you, this sounds like some bullshit Aaron Rodgers would do. Please don't go down <laughs> that road. You don't want to be like that guy. I promise you, that dude lives a super unhappy life. That's it. Now Matt Miller is saying no. This is the players who rank each other, which is even worse. Or no, it's the players who rank it. Oh, I wonder is is there like a players ranking thing? I thought this was the media. Did I get this completely wrong? I have I no know. idea. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is determined solely by the players themselves. Oh, this adds a whole different thing here. So, even worse, uh, Matt jumps in. He said, uh, Mahomes has 500 million reasons not to care. Uh, And then Michael said, all these players vote with their own bias. Hell, some didn't even play Mahomes. Um, Yeah, that's it. You guys are right. I completely missed on this. Good gracious. But, uh, so, Derrick Henry at number 10. Stephon Gilmore at 9. I kind of like those. Um... You know, it, it was a little surprising to see a running back up that high. Of course, we got Christian McCaffrey at six. DeAndre Hopkins at eight. I was a little surprised by that. Julio Jones is back at number 11. George Kittle at seven. Um, Michael Thomas, five. I, I was surprised to see Michael Thomas up that high uh, for some reason. I, only one, excuse me, two defensive players in the top ten. It just tells you it's an offensive game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could care less about these ratings. I've told you that. I think they're dumb. And then, you know, if players want to rate one another, media people want to rate people, that's fine. I'll rank anybody you ask me to rank. Give me a list. I'll tell you what I think about them, and I'll put them in an order. But but I, I just find this to be laughable. As soon as J.J. Watt shows up on the top 100, I'm out. I'm out. That dude has been in the league for too damn long, and he is not any good anymore. Okay? <laughs> He's got like four good games in a season. And yeah. we still keep blowing smoke like like this dude is one of the best players in football. He was a long time ago, yeah. okay? That was a long time ago. Uh, Matt jumps in, OB Matt. He said, it's just something for us to talk about since we can't get real football. Uh, Michael said, Von Miller was at 26, so obviously this list is fake news. Will Gomez uh, wonders whether or not this was voted on before the Super Bowl or before the playoffs. Um, Damian- no, I would have done an off season. Yeah, Damian said, how the hell is Allen Robinson at number 93? He's the only player that got the Bears wins last year. Um, and then Terry, of course, jumping in, trying to poke your buttons a little bit, said, Aaron Rodgers is risking his life. Show some respect, Chris. <laughs> no, not a lot of respect for Rodgers. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the, uh, the Rodgers stuff. 
Uh, Matt Miller jumps in. Todd Gurley's on the list, LOL. Uh, by the way, playing a sport doesn't make you an expert. There's no pro, uh, there's no pro football school. They are just naturally gifted. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. It's voted for at the Pro Bowl. So it was, it was right before the Super Bowl. Okay. okay. I don't know that that would have changed anything. By I don't the way, think so either. Because, because the three people ahead of him weren't around at that time. But it's yeah, a popularity true. contest. I'll tell you that. I mean, there's a reason Russell Wilson got up there that high. Oh, it's yeah. Because he's probably the most likable person in the league. Yeah, I agree with that. I do agree with that. All right. Not that uh, anybody else is not, but, you know. If you are ranking football players, just quarterback, because I have no idea. I have no clue how you rank an offensive lineman and a defensive tackle and a quarterback. Okay. I I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what that means or how to say one is a better football player than the other. Okay. Well, and here's but, the thing some of them work better in different schemes. I mean, you try and put Lamar Jackson in in the Chiefs scheme. I seriously doubt he would be as effective as he is with the uh, the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens built we'll an offense. Disagree there. Right? We'll disagree there completely. Well, I'm saying with the with the rosters the way that they are currently constructed, I with think the, that so oh, wait a minute. He can't he can't throw the ball to Tyreek Hill. He can't he can't throw the ball to all those receivers. He can't run Andy Reid's most quarterback friendly system that any dumb dumb who can, that, that can throw the football can run. He can't do that. I think that, look, I'm not saying he would be bad. I just think Mahomes is way better in that system than Lamar Jackson. Mahomes would be. is a better quarterback than I him. also think that Mahomes would not be as good in the Ravens system as Lamar Jackson is. I think those two offenses are tailored. You are giving for. way too much credit to systems. Way too much credit to systems. Maybe so. I, I'm looking at the way that the rosters are currently constructed. Uh, Matt Miller said. Uh, I would just rank them based on value. The best ever isn't as valuable as any of the top 15 quarterbacks ever. Uh, best safety is not as valuable as whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I, yeah. I'll agree with that. Yeah, like that's that's the problem. But so let's just take the three quarterbacks, okay? Okay. Patrick Mahomes is a better quarterback than all, but than both of those other guys. He just is. He didn't have a better season last year. He won the Super Bowl, but he didn't have a better season. He got hurt. He missed some games. He yeah. had a couple of games where he played like crap. That happens. He's allowed to be human. That's okay. But, you know, I don't know. I got no way to explain this stuff. No, I, I can understand that. Michael said, if football players knew how good other players really are, then Elway wouldn't have drafted Lynch or Osweiler. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I fully believe that just because you're a former player doesn't mean you're going to be a good evaluator because that we, we've seen that. Uh, Damien said Aaron Rodgers can take that tequila and shove it where the sun don't shine. Uh, Matt said systems work. And, and Terry said, don't forget to like, share with your friends, and for the love of God, don't be risking your lives. Uh, Michael said, didn't Keenan Allen get butt hurt as well? Called out Evans and a few other receivers. Yeah. That yeah. was a Madden thing, though. Yeah, I thought that was a Madden. That uh, was Madden. Rating. That wasn't this. Yeah. Now, you you got that right. Uh, he, called out the, he called out Chris Goodwin, not Chris Godwin. Yeah, called, he tagged the wrong Chris dude. Chris Goodwin got famous. Uh, Matt Miller said, Russell Wilson is second. Uh, he is better than Lamar. We'll see one-year wonders all the time. I need another year. Um, Yeti said, uh, Yeti just jumped in. He said, your thoughts on SEC only schedule? Uh, I love it. I'm in. That's all Let's I go. want. That's all I want. These big conferences to play their own schedule so you can control it so we don't have too much chaos. Yeah. No, you, you when chaos right. hits, you can adapt and move if you're doing a conference-only thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Uh, Damien said, to be fair, maybe they had uh, Mahomes at four uh, because he got injured. Uh, totally possible. Uh, and by the way, congrats to everybody that jumped in today. We reached 100 chat messages today. Props to you guys for doing that. You're keeping the show going. You're driving content. We appreciate it, of course. Um, and then last but not least, uh, Matt Miller said three SEC teams in the playoff. And Michael said SEC schedule sucks because I can't see Colorado A&M. That's my only complaint. Yeah, you'll, you'll get it eventually. All of these games will eventually be made up. We got nothing to worry about. If LSU-Texas doesn't happen this year, it will happen again very, very soon. It may not be next year, but it, I'm telling you. As long as there's 80,000 people in the house, I'm fine. Yep, you got that right. You, you play us right. with 10, I'm going to be pissed. We are at 47 minutes. Um, <laughs> Matt said, did we mention it, or did we reach 100 without any mention of murder hornets? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Terry said, we all risked our lives, so let's celebrate 100%. Let's uh, let